Once again I welcome you to Chelsea Sports Channel, where I bring you all the breaking news from Stamford Bridge and Chelsea FC. Today I have more news coming up. Before we start the video, please subscribe, like, share, and feel free to comment. Thomas Tuchel handed triple boost as Chelsea trio returned to training ahead of West Brom Those who were not on international duty over the last 10 days have carried on their work in the sunshine at Cobham this week. Chelsea's international cohort of players will be returning to Cobham across the next couple of days to report for training ahead of Saturday's early kickoff against West Bromwich Albion in the Premier League. It's less than ideal preparation for head coach Thomas Tuchel going into the game with the vast majority of his players perhaps getting just one training session on Friday back in London and many of them potentially having played three games for their country across the last 10 days. Coupled with the Blues being the lunchtime game on Saturday at Stamford Bridge, it represents a very quick turnaround for the Blues players, not least when some players have picked up knocks while away. N'Golo Conte returned to Cobham last week having suffered a hamstring issue while away with France. Mason Mount is a doubt for England's World Cup qualifier against Poland on Wednesday and Callum Hudson-Odoi missed out for England's U21's loss to Portugal with a shoulder injury. While the training ground has been a bit less populated than usual this week, there have still been plenty of first-team players continuing their training ahead of the West Brom having not been called up for their country. So, as the UK basked in warm sunshine on Tuesday, working in the sunshine at the Cobham training ground and there were some interesting observations. Thiago Silva is back in training for Chelsea having missed the last 10 games for Chelsea with a thigh injury. The Brazilian centre-back returned to the bench for the win over Everton but didn't make it onto the pitch before he was put back on the injury list. He was last spotted celebrating the Blues, 2-0 win over Atletico Madrid in the stands at Stamford Bridge. Another player also pictured in training was Tammy Abraham. The striker has missed Chelsea's last seven games with an ankle problem he sustained in the 2-0 victory over Newcastle United. Chelsea's top scorer was also called out somewhat by Tuchel to show a bit more when he is on the pitch after starting just two Premier League games since the German took over from Frank Lampard. Jorginho was another Blues player who was spotted in training. The Italian was ruled out of the win over Sheffield United in the FA Cup quarterfinal and for the international break with a knock but, if you look very closely, you can see him and the number 5 on his training top in the recently released pictures from Cobham. Ilkay Gundogan praises Chelsea players' sensational potential. Manchester City and Germany star Ilkay Gundogan was full of praise of Kai Havertz and insisted the Chelsea midfielder will make a big statement in the Premier League. Following the 1-0 win over Romania on Sunday, Germany boss Joachim Lowe described Havertz as a player with great technical and goal-scoring qualities, DFB official website. It was hardly a surprise given the 21-year-old created the winning goal and also scored a goal in their previous win over Iceland. Havertz has now had two goals and two assists from just four appearances for Germany in the Nations League and World Cup qualifiers this season. Unfortunately, he has not been able to produce similar output at Chelsea, at least not yet. Since joining Bayer Leverkusen last summer, he has only scored once and provided two assists from 14 league starts. Havertz has sensational potential, it is very evident that he still needs time to adapt to English football. However, Gundogan, who took the leap from Bundesliga to the Premier League in 2016, praised Havertz's courage to make the move and explained why the versatile midfielder will be a success at Chelsea. Technique-wise, Kai is exceptionally good, the Manchester City midfielder said in his press conference for the Germany national team on Tuesday. I think it's great that he had the courage at his age to take the step abroad. He has already played many good games for Chelsea, but it's normal that not everything can work out in the first season. He has sensational potential and will make a big statement in the Premier League, what do you think about what Gundogan say Havertz? Please subscribe, like, share and feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.